Hey guys, Decav13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. So in the last episode, uh, we rescued Nita Chris from a group of assassins who were trying to abduct her, and uh, we've, I guess, kind of earned her trust. Uh, so she's letting us go forward to the Great Temple here to meet with Ozymandias, and we're going to finally figure out what's going on in this singularity. Because we have no idea still. So, uh, let's head on in. Alright, so we got riders and casters. I'm just gonna bring an alter ego. So, perfect. I wanna bring my passion lip. And then I will bring Kiara. Uh, yeah, and then Ryder. Keen, Ryder Kintoki's fine. Yeah, let's go. I see the silhouette of the temple. I don't know for certain, but this could be this should be the last hill. The wind is strong. Master, be careful. Stay behind me. I'll deploy my noble phantasm and go straight through. If we if we can just get past here, we'll Huh? It stopped. What an awesome temple! It's like a floating city on a sea of sand. What a feat of engineering. You can tell just by looking at it. So that's the palace of the Sun King Ozymandias. The legendary Shining Temple Complex. Ramesseum Tenteris. Hmm, hmm. What's that? Oh, right. Roman always gives a lecture at times like this. The Sun King Ozymandias, or originally Ramses II, the greatest, most powerful pharaoh of ancient Egypt. Yes, a true pharaoh among pharaohs who called himself God the God King. He brought great prosperity to Egypt around 1300 BC. It's not unusual for pharaohs to see themselves as gods, but even then, the Sun King was always the one closest to the sun. He was also known as the Great Architect. So great that it's even said he proclaimed, All temples on this earth were built by me. If that's true, he may be linked to the story of humanity's oldest dynamo, the, Den the Dendera Light System. He is also called the Construction King as well. That great temple is likely one of his noble phantasms. That's amazing. Let's go inside. This is my first time visiting an Egyptian building. Foe! I don't see anything blocking our way. The inside seems rather cool, too. However, Mash, there's something I want to confirm first. Any transmissions from Roman? Oh, I'm sorry, I got carried away. Our connection to the doctor hasn't been restored yet. As expected. This proves my hypothesis. John, Mash, the ray shift brought us, brought us to the 13th century Middle East. That's for certain. However, this isn't entirely 13th century Earth. My staff can mag measure magical energy and... The quality of magical energy has changed since we came here. The magical energy here is much older. Nidikris said this is the territory of Egypt. She wasn't just speaking of our location. This desert is from the BC era. I have no idea why, but... In this sixth singularity, the world ruled by Ozymandias has been transported over entirely. Space-time itself is in disarray. That's the reason why we couldn't race shift to Jerusalem, and why we couldn't contact Chaldea now. No way. Then the sixth singularity isn't the Holy Land, but this desert? Mm, can't say for sure yet. What I do know is that this ancient is that is that this Egyptian territory is like a foreign body in this world. In addition, according to my measurements, there's another location in this territory where space-time is distorted. Even more distorted than the desert? Yes, that's a good way to put it. This is just a hunch, but it might be the key to our search. I'm curious as to exactly what it is, but in any event, we should solve the mystery in front of us first. Let's head to the Great Temple of Ozymandias. 
If legends are true, he should be a fussy, handsome boy. <laughs> hmm. Sleepy. So sleepy. Senpai, we were given VIP treatment right upon entering the temple and brought straight to the throne room, but... This tanned man rubbing his eyes on the throne. Could that actually be King Ozymandias? So you finally come, mysterious travelers. You're a little late, but I don't mind. Having overcome the trial of the Sphinx, you have permission for an audience with the king. Now bow down before him. If you do, his majesty may awaken from his weariness and speak to you. Your King Ozymandias. Seriously? How rude! Such insults in the face of the pharaoh, a god upon this earth! He is the greatest pharaoh, the most courageous, most authoritative pharaoh. He is fit to be a god. He is Pharaoh Ozymandias, subjugator and savior of the land at the end of the world, our ideal king. How unusual, Nitocris. You may be a great bird, but you were never the type to shout in such a loud voice. It seems you've taken quite a liking to them. <laughs> How joyous. Truly joyous. I apologize, pharaoh to utter your true name in such a loud manner. That was something for your majesty to do. I regret it thoroughly. Indeed. The crime for stealing my amusement is heavy. Afterwards, cut off an arm and put it in a jar. Yes, thank you for your kindness. Now then, you're the travelers from a foreign nation. My name is Ozymandias. I am a god. I am the sun. I am the pharaoh who rules this land. That has not changed in the past or the present. I grew somewhat tired of being called a rider. This small throne is simply one diversion from my boredom. Also, above all, I'm quite sleepy now. I feel like an old man who has just awoken from the abyss of death. Thus I intend to keep this brief. Listen to my grand voice and remember from the bottom of your soul. Your envoys from Chaldea, you have repaired five singularities thus far. And now you appear here in the sixth wedge, this holy land of sand. I am already aware of all that. If you would question my knowledge, then the answer should now be apparent. I hold the holy grail which you seek. Well, that was fast. Are you a demon god pillar? As if I would side with the King of Mages. When I descended upon this land, I seized it. Uh, what? Foul! Oh! I seized it from the Crusaders. It was fitting for a true king such as myself, after all. Um, King Ozymandias, th that's surprising, but, um... <laughs> Certainly not in agreement. <laughs> Your head... Did you just come off? Unthinkable. You must be tired from the trip. While disrespectful, I will forgive you this once. There is nothing wrong with my head. Now that I have the Holy Grail, I... Whoops. <laughs> Silently staring at you with a did you see that look on his face. <laughs> Alright, I forgot how really ramped up the comedic moment, like, the writing of the comedic moments was in these later singularities. <laughs> <laughs> Try to avoid eye contact. <laughs> Need to Chris! Yes, what do you require, Pharaoh? I don't feel well. I'd like to move my body a bit. Call some fire sprites to wake me up. Here I come, Master of Chaldea. I particularly enjoyed your silence just now. Master, for reasons unknown, Pharaoh Ozymandias is gearing up for battle. Okay, as expected. The king is a problem child who's always just lived by his own rules. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, it's a cool, cool, uh, cool thing you can do with your head, how it almost falls off, dude. Should probably get that looked at. <laughs> Should probably fix that, man. Oh, man. Now I'm looking forward to the next singularity because of one of the jokes they have. 
with a certain goddess. <laughs> Alright, well, now we have new enemies. Ifritas. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Thankfully they're casters, so they have long, uh, charge gauges. I was up to 100% already. Alright, before I start launching off Noble Phantasms, I just want to get uh, Lip up to 100%. Alright, so Ozzy's at 256,000. I'm going to whittle him down. Uh. That's the best I got. I don't think it's gonna give her 13%, but oh well. <laughs> Never mind. Right, I forgot her. I gave her a CE that increases her NP gain. God, I I forgot how long Ozzy's <laughs> voice lines are for using skills and shit. Oh, that's great. All right, five presentation. You know, I'm gonna use Goddess more because Lips scale heals as well. She'll get a bonus out of that. Alright, Breast Valley. Trash and Crush. Alright, yeah, I still have him targeted. Use attack up. All my buffs are up, so. Elementary, my dear. Amitabha Amidala. Rimhill the Romantia. Yeah. The Afritas should be no problem with the two noble phantasms. They're gone. Especially, again, with all the buffs and, uh, <laughs> and the two defense downs. I thought I was going to get stuck on the music again like last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the Afrita's gone. Ozzy's down to 167. Yeah, and actually brought Kiara back up to full health. So that's pretty good. Alright, Ozzy. Weaken you a little bit. Get Kiara some more NP. Alright, well. Okay, you might want to stop. Like, could you stop? Maybe don't beat up Kiara that much, Ozzy. Here we go. Alright, I'm 
unfortunately someone's gonna get, get hit by his noble phantasm. Again, I don't remember if it's single or multi-target. I think it's just single target though. So I'll just use target focus with lip. Left. All right, well, Kiara is fucking gone. I should have saved it. I should have stunned him this turn. Oh well. Uh, eh, whatever. Alright. Brunhild the Romance, yeah. Because I doubt Brunhild Romance is gonna kill. It doesn't do any. It doesn't do enough damage. If anything, this is just to heal Passion up a little bit. Yeah. Brun unfortunate as it is, Brunhild Romantia does not exist to do a lot of damage. Especially not at MP1. How much did that do? 15,000. Yeah. Unfortunate as it is. That is single target. Well, Lip's dead. Yup. Maybe if I had more of her defensive skills, it would have. If I if I just waited a turn, she probably would have lived. Oh well. Now I'll have Holmes finish it. I got one of the lamps. A rider peak monument. I need more of those too. That was quite heated for mere amusement. Thanks to that, my head feels better. Pharaoh, what exactly... No, um... Do you intend to punish these people? Naturally. Their objective is the Holy Grail. The Grail now belongs to me. That means they will eventually try to kill me. I have no intention of letting them live. But are you saying that I personally brought your enemies before you, Pharaoh? Indeed I am. However... Need to Chris. I hadn't told you about the Holy Grail, nor have I shared with you any knowledge relating to, relating to this singularity. That was my own blunder. Th that is not your crime. That is all because <laughs> I honestly thought I honestly thought they had perished around the fourth singularity. So much for my speculation. Good grief! You're far too slow. Slow, slow, slow. There's a limit to how slow one should be. Oh, Master of Chaldea. Humanity in this era collapsed long before you arrived. King Ozymandias. What exactly does that mean? Exactly as I said it. In this era, there should have been a war to reclaim the Holy Land. One side defending, one side invading. A merciless slaughter between two absolutely incompatible nations. At the end, one side would have claimed the Holy Grail, and the Holy Land would have become a seedbed for a demon god pillar. That is, if you had arrived in this land just a little earlier. But that didn't happen. So that means the war to capture the Holy Land never occurred, correct? After all, the Grail is in your possession, King Ozymandias. You were likely summoned by someone on the Crusader's side. 
and then you naturally oppose them, taking the Holy Land as your own. Is this territory of Egypt something you summoned? And is that what caused the collapse of humanity in this era? Who are you? You seem to be quite knowledgeable. She's Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, I know that name. One of the greatest geniuses in human history. Yes, yes indeed. It is said that there is a fine line between genius and insanity. No, no, no. My intelligence is only a tiny bit higher than yours, oh great Sun King. So, was my theory correct? Can we assume that you're the singularity in this era? <laughs> I'm sorry to say you're mistaken, foreign sage. Did you think that I, the all-powerful Sun King, would use a poisoned chalice such as the Holy Grail? I am simply the holder and protector of the Holy Grail. I have no interest whatsoever in the Holy Land. Therefore, listen carefully. The one who turned this era into a unique singularity and utterly destroyed all of humanity. He sits on the throne in what was once Jerusalem, that sacred city devoid of all hope, which is where you're heading. They call him the Lion King, the infamous pure white Lion King. All right, we have our enemy. Let's see, Saber and Rider. That's a bad combo that I don't like. Uh, man, look at all these Rikos with Kaleidoscope. Oh, uh, it's so good. Uh, well... Saber and Rider. Oh, that's too much. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll just put Emia there. And not Gander. I'll give him projection. Uh, yeah, that should be alright. That sure was a storm of events, Senpai. Yeah, I don't get it. Fo! So. Yes, yes. To think that after doing that battle, we would be treated to an extravagant meal. Although after all of that, we were told to leave and essentially chased out. Yes, thinking back to what King Ozymandias said. Guests are to be given hospitality, obviously. We people of the desert never refuse hospitality to travelers. We understand the hardships of long journeys. However, don't expect us to reach an accord so easily. You have neither the determination nor the dignity necessary. Go and experience the cruel reality of this world. I shall give you one last opportunity after you have done so. I am the tyrant who rules this era. I'm sure you'll return to take my head eventually. At which point you won't be treated as guests. You'll be treated as foolish beasts who dare oppose me. Now then, I banish you from these Egyptian lands. Seek out the holy city first. We will have words afterward. After that we were escorted all the way here, still completely dumbfounded. I wanted to know more about the buildings and stuff there. The construction's the, the construction king is so impatient. Are you still discontent, even after the king bestowed precious water and food upon you? Yes, we're very thankful for that. If you die a dog's death before leaving the territory of Egypt, I'll lose face. That's what King Osmandia said when he handed all these supplies to us. Exactly. He even, he even let us have materials from the temple. He may be a tyrant, but he's certainly generous. Of course. The king may be ruthless, but he's generous to the courageous. Also, it seems the king took a liking to you. Perhaps it was John's... How can I put it? Air? Or aura? I think it's because your easygoing personality resembles that of an old friend. However, that was just a one-off. Pharaoh Ozymandias is a frightening man. You're fated to die the next time you meet. 
Don't ever forget that. Yes, thank you for the warning. We're grateful for your hospitality, Queen Nizakris. I simply repaid my debt. You won't receive anything from me again, either. Your Majesty? Um, do you want to ask me something? Not really. It seems I lack determination as well. Mash, are you afraid of fighting? You fight bravely like any servant would, but I could tell. Your true nature, that is. That's... It's okay. I could sense something to be proud about. Although I'm sure Oz Pharaoh Ozymandias would rebuke it as weakness. However, you're different from me. Despite your fear, you stand and fight without deceiving yourself. <laughs> it must be nice to have a master and to mutually support each other. This may be an issue considering I'm a pharaoh, but I... I feel envious. Just a little. What are you talking to Mash about? It's what you'd call girls talk. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I'll be going now. Once you leave this territory, you'll be in the middle of the land at the end of the world. Be careful. There she goes, riding off on a sphinx. Yes, I'm so very jealous. I'd like to try riding a sphinx at least once. <laughs> da Vinci, please. What the fuck are you doing, anyway? What are you doing, Da Vinci? Thanks for asking. It seems this time we'll have long periods of physical activity. So I borrowed some wood from King Ozymandias for... Ta-da! As you can see, I tried making a vehicle for desert travel. I call it the all-purpose ve vehicular or or Ornithopter Sphinx. <laughs> foul, foul! Translation, Da Vinci John really is an idiot. <laughs> foul, you don't gotta be so mean to Da Vinci. This is a buggy no matter how you look at it. It's really out of place for the 13th century. As expected from Da Vinci John. <laughs> yes, naturally. I am a genius after all. A custom-made vehicle built entirely from wood. It has seven other functions, but <laughs> we'll talk about those later. <laughs> how great. Yes, how great. Mr. Leonardo, do we need a driver's license for this? No need, no need at all, because it doesn't have an engine. It's basically the same as a bicycle. Well, since it uses magical energy in the place of gasoline, it can only reach speeds of 60 kilometers an hour, but never mind that. Now then, pile in, everyone. No more physical activity required. Our true destination is about 100 kilometers to the east, waiting for us beyond the desert. Roger. Foul! Yay! <laughs> yeah! Huh? <laughs> Fuck you! Huh? Yeah! <laughs> I've detected an extra exclamation of joy, Master. We've been surrounded without us knowing. I won't let anyone interfere with Senpai's inaugural drive, eliminating them at full power. <laughs> Whoever this guy is. <laughs> She's like, yeah, car! Awesome! I think I gotta kill you guys. Ah, oh, boy. Yeah, no. Camelot and Babylon are so fucking... So well written. I'm really excited to see how the, uh... See what the translation of the Lost Belts is gonna be like. Hopefully I can get some rider gems from these guys. Is that what I'm getting? Well, I got one rider gem and then a rider flame. Uh, I'll just use your Baraki. Okay, well, I mean, hey, at least Ibaraki can use your NP now. Uh, let's use Morph. Alright, that solves that. Ow. 
All right, all set to go. 99. Cool. All right, what are we fighting at the end here? It is... Oh, fuck me. Of course, it's a fucking spring. I don't think... I don't think it's a demonic type enemy, so that's probably not going to do anything, but oh well. Alright. Yeah, I'll do that. Because Great Grudge Rashomon gives defense down, so... Yeah. Eh, maybe I should use Great Grudge Rashomon last. Oh well. Defense down Great Grudge Rashomon only one turn, or is it multiple? I actually don't know. I don't use Great Grudge Rashomon all that much. I guess we'll find out. Well, at least since it's level 2 now, it should do a bit more damage as well. Hundred six. Yeah, I should have saved Rashomon for last. Oh well. Just use that. I don't know, it does last multiple turns. Alright, then that works out. There we go. Good shit, Ibaraki. So remember I said last time that uh there were what like 34 sections basically in this but uh most of the sections in Camelot they're, they're kind of like this so you know it's not all that bad again with these fucking I'm uh yeah that should be fine all right, to the east. All right, the sandstorm. We've left the sandstorm, and with the buggy running properly, this is rather pleasant. By the way, are you tired from the driving? If you are, I could swap with you. Time for a player sub, Mash. Please leave it to me. You can take a pit stop. Mash Curelight will defend your position in the race. <laughs> oh, switching drivers? Yes, good. It's dangerous to drive for more than an hour straight. Would you like a meal or a massage? We've also got some cold juice. This thing's too convenient. Foul, oh, foul! Of course. You should already know I'm always aware of what's going on. I'll put together any order with a plum. More importantly, we're almost out of the desert. You can take the mask off whenever you like. The amount of des density changes past that big sand dune. We'll no doubt be able to see what this era's original landscape looks like. You seem to be having fun. Really? If so, my show of courage must be pretty good. The Mona Lisa mustn't lose her smile, after all. I need to smile no matter how uneasy I might be feeling. Then again, I suppose my worries will date soon. Once we're out of Egyptian territory, we should be able to contact Romani again. I suppose the doctor's on the edge of his seat, too. <laughs> I'm sure. But to be honest, I think this was good. Romani shouldn't have gotten a little break, break thanks to this. He's hardly slept a wing since we started the Grand Order. 
Fall, fall. The doctor isn't sleeping? Of course. Caldea lost over 60 staff in that incident. How did you think such a shortage was being filled? Romani's job doesn't just involve healthcare. Operating the remaining equipment, maintaining Sheba, controlling Caldea's generators, planning operations, handling ray shifts. On top of that, taking care of the mental health of the staff that break down each day. Though that's technically his main job. Since there are no external supplies, the internal staff will have to somehow manage. It, it would take a genius to do all these things alone, but Romani isn't one, nor is he a heroic spirit. He's an ordinary human, and ordin when ordinary humans work that much, we, they sacrifice time and stamina. When that isn't enough, they push themselves further, using modern medicine to increase mental acuity or, or ignore fatigue. I didn't know. Oh. Also, Caldea communications aren't ordinary transmissions. Singularities are both realities and unexplored possibilities. Simply being here is enough to make your existence ambiguous. You didn't exist in the 13th century, after all. From the, point of view of the, from, from the point of view of the world itself, you're an unknown. That's why Caldea has to constantly verify your existence, to make sure that your meaning as a person doesn't vanish. By certifying that, human, that the human named John is real, your existence at the ship destination is secured. Singularities are uncertain. Even if your body exists, some value could deviate from your original self. It's possible that this hypothetical, slightly different version of yourself could get projected onto Caldeus. If that happens, you can't return to reality in 2018. That's why they constantly monitor, monitor you in the command room. They check all numerical values, and if something appears to be deviating e even slightly, they return it to normal. This is a job with the slightest disparity. The slightest sign can't be overlooked. So Romani and the entire command room staff give everything, everything they have to support your journey. Dr. Roman, what he did to Mash. <sighs> what he said before the ray shift. Right, Romani is still an accomplice in Caldea's experiments. For that, you can be angry with him and have your doubts. When I was summoned to Caldea, the first thing I did was denounce Marisbury and Romani. Why am I so angry and why am I so angry and scornful? That goes without saying. Because ordinary people shouldn't pretend to be geniuses. Marisbury. Oh, you didn't know? Marisbury Atmosphere, father of Olga Marie and former director of Caldea. Foul! Sorry for the sudden break. There are signs of enemies ahead, Master. They're acting like a wall to block our path. We need to eliminate them, eliminate them to cross the sand dune. They dare interfere with our big jump? Yes, Master. We'll have them get out of the way with our of our pleasant drive. Pleasant drive, she says, as we're about to ramp off a giant ass sand dune. I guess that's pleasant to some people. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Cool. Wyverns again. Boy, I love fighting wyverns. Alright, now if you guys just keep doing that, that'd be grand. <laughs> I'll tear it, please. I can't. I'll tear a sand. It's too cute. Oh god! Don't kill a Baraki. Just 
just in case. <laughs> Every time I fucking hear that. It's too good. Alright, so what are we dealing with here? Yeah, another Spriggan. Alright. Whatever. Alright, so here, let's... For one ally, so... Put that on Terra. Buff all allies. And let's go Grigwich Rashomon, Candy Star Photon Ray, and... Yeah, Ibaraki. Hey, So we get defense down. Then on terror will do a shit ton of damage. Really don't like fighting Spriggans all that much. But I think I said that enough. Oh no. Actually, is this the first appearance of Spriggans? I can't rem No, they appeared in America at the very end. I don't like fighting Spriggans. They're annoying. Can I say? Altera <laughs> said this is too fucking cute, man. It's just botten. It's great. Oh, that's it for that section. Alright, cool. Alright, uh, well. That doesn't look great. Alright, so we'll handle that in the next episode. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye!